This is uh, where I live. I'm born and raised here in Cadore, in the middle of the Dolomites. And there's no better place than home. <laughs> there's no better view than the mountains that are here. And so I really like to do things here. <laughs> and I've been to places, amazing places, but every time I go even to some really cool places, when I go back home, I'm like, okay, but this is better. <laughs> Loretta Lucetto Flipper Loretta Lucetto no So oh, look how fancy I am I always try to find something to motivate me One day I remember just all of a sudden I was talking with a friend of mine and I was opening the truck and I was like you know I think we have been skiing maybe 45 consecutive days and I don't feel tired. Maybe, you know, maybe I should try to do some weird, stupid thing like skiing 24 hours up the slope. And he was like, okay, you better go to sleep. <laughs> but then since this thing came to my mind, it got stuck there. I would like to attempt the 24 hour vertical record. <laughs> Well, I want to try. The slope is 3.2 kilometers and uh, it's 725 meters of elevation gain. And so this is something that there was just me and my skis and my crew, of course. But there was like the, the playground wouldn't impact my performance. We don't know where we're going, we just want to get gone. Sei un pigro! Vai a passeggiare, Molly, dai! Eccolo! Vai, Molly! Ok, va! Here we go to a special place where the magic is made. You can see here some... the treasure. What gives me superpower? I know Martina since quite a long time, so when I started ski mountaineering uh, 15 years ago, we went to uh, all the World Cups and the World Championship in ski mountaineering. And uh, yes, Martina is, was always like uh, the magnet of the attention because she's uh, a typical Italian. Like, la, la, la. And it was always like this and it still continues until now. You are wonderful. <laughs> What did he say? I have everything. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> the owner of the refuge. <laughs> yes. With my plan, of course, it's in, as an Excel file. It's not the reality. <laughs> it's doing uh, one lap per hour. The goal is like Everesting in 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And if you're able to keep the same pace. For the next 12 hours, you are uh, almost, uh, yeah, you're way above. Yeah, yeah, you are better than me in yeah, math. For me, I'm minutes. always uh, appro <laughs> approximately. So it's, yeah, yeah. that's why you are it's in the team. You. I'm an artist <laughs> and I have a German friend. <laughs> <laughs> Martina and me, we are in contact every day for the different work topics. And it's always really funny. And we are a super, People are so I am the German, I am the plan, I have the timings and the focus, but I am not so creative. And she's the Italian, it's always a mess in terms of the timing, but she's super creative and super active. So I think it merged really well together. If you think about the whole 24 hours, I think you won't even start. <laughs> The longest time I've been out uh, racing or like training or whatever uh, has been at the 90k of Chamonix and it was for 13 hours out. Uh, I'm just in a little hard moment because I didn't have the aid station. And so at that time 
My longest race was about 10 hours, nine hours. So I was still getting into the unknown, even in Chamonix. But this one, it's a, a different step <laughs> because it's not just a few hours longer, it's like twice the time. I try to plan it to make it the easiest, <laughs> but the easiest is still really, really difficult because of course 24 hours is the whole day. And so I decided to start uh, in the evening where I have a, still a bit of light. And so I will face basically 12 hours of dark. It was the first time I, I was out for the whole night. You have to set a different mindset. It's like, okay, right now it's not about the view. It's not about uh, seeing the people cheering you on or it's not about... This is just on you. And so it's like training on a super foggy day with shitty weather, I don't know. After seven, eight hours, it was not really cold, but was not warm either. And it was uh, quite windy, and so I started to have stomach problems, and so I had to stop one time, and then it got better. I started to climb again, and then it came back again, stomach problems. And then for like three hours or something, I was stopping really often. <laughs> And so I thought, damn, this is something I can go through, but it's gonna make me waste a lot of time. And it can be worse. At the end of the night, you are happy, of course, because, uh, I mean, you have been through already a big day, let's say, but now, I have to face the same. It's incredible with the combination of dry clothes. The light was amazing, like this incredible sunrise. It just gave me so much energy that I went down and I started to climb, but almost like I push the reset button. After the 12 hour barrier for me, every hour, every top I reached, every lap I finished, it was uh, always a new achievement because I've never uh, went out for 13 hours, never went out for 14 hours. So every lap it was meaning something for me because it was like, okay, I've done, I've done it again. That gives me lots of energy because of course, when uh, you prove yourself you're capable of something, then you get energy from it. And uh, I pushed more that lap. And when I reached the top, I, I thought, well, this felt good. Let's try next one. And next one, I pushed a little bit more. And then I said, well, this felt good. Let's try the next lap. <laughs> and then the third lap, I still pushed like, yeah, I was even faster probably. And then it was still like in, okay, this is good. Maybe I can handle this. Maybe I can do it. Almost every time that it's the second fastest lap. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. Like you speed up. Of yeah. course, the first lap was the fastest, but now it's like <laughs> <laughs> the barrier is getting closer to the fastest one. It's because now it's getting close to the finish, and so 
So if I make it to the 23rd, here I say it, and, and then I go like the vertical, eh? then I, I explode wherever you pick me up. <laughs> of course, after a few laps, I started to feel a little bit, yeah, more tired. But then, even on shorter race, I knew that I have this kind of moment, that after you feel really good and then at some point you're like, bah! tired and your legs are kind of sore but I know that I can go through that moment and then so I had like one two laps where I felt more tired and so I stopped more I ate more and then I was ready to push again it's like two weeks of heavy skiing in one day <laughs> Bird record. Good job, Martina. Now we keep going. Yes, she was suffering like in, in the body. She was all like this in the end. But she was like super strong mentally. She had like when she beat the she's beaten the world record, she was like, okay, I'm going up and I'm done. But then when she was here, down here, I said to her like, okay, you have 41 minutes. It's a lot. And she was like, okay, I'm doing one more. It was crazy, she made a sprint now, totally insane, eh? after 17,000 meters climbing. Eh? And so I went down and I started the last part again really strong and I was like, I mean, I have 30 minutes or 25 minutes. Maybe it's better if I slow down because otherwise in four minutes I'm at the top. <laughs> so I slow down and from there on I, I realize what I just did. Martina, come descrive la? È Martina, è unica nel suo genere. È sempre una battuta pronta, ha sempre un sorriso e anche oggi ha dato la dimostrazione che essendo al limite delle sue forze mentali, comunque non negava mai un sorriso a nessuno. It's crazy how uh, you don't realize until the really really end. Of course, I still have the time, but then I, I felt, no, I'm not going down another time because that was not my goal. My goal was not to break this record. My goal was to, to reach this 24 hour and anyway, to make it as my project. And so <laughs> there was enough. I, I did this sprint and then I, I was coming out to the top my way and seeing this line of people, of my friends, waiting me at home, that was special. Yes. <laughs> Stay. 